Periodically I get emails from people asking me questions about tutorials that I have and in this, uh, this case a uh, fellow named David wants to know um, how to mask an object. He's having trouble with that in Illustrator. He's doing a uh, shoe rendering and uh, he says it keeps telling him that the selection must contain more than one object when he um, tries to mask, I assume, this shape within this outline is what he sent me. So let's take a look at how we would do that. Well, um, so first of all uh, I'm assuming you're wanting to fill this little area with color. Now, since I've done the tutorial, there have been some changes uh, in Illustrator. There is a, a one feature you could use called Live Paint. So we could go to Live Paint Make. And then uh, once we have a Live Paint object, we can use this little paint bucket right here. Um, select a color, and then we would just fill each area whichever color we wanted. Um, that actually works really well, and I use that quite a bit. However, in my tutorial, I think there's a reason why I didn't do that. Um, but I can't remember what it was. But anyway, the, the way that I did it in the, uh, the tutorial that I posted was I closed this shape, I made it a color, let's call it orange, and I'll change its stroke to nothing, and then I masked it with a different shape. So I would move this to the front by hitting Apple Shift uh, right bracket or uh, Control Shift right bracket in the case of a PC. And then I would um, click on both of those objects both of them and hit Apple 7 or Control 7 on a PC which equates to object uh, clipping mask make right there. Um, that What that has done is it has taken the top object and made it a clipping mask and it is using it to clip the bottom object. Now if I select this top object I can go ahead and make it a color if I want to. Um, I can also obviously still select this object and make changes to it. Um, or I can select that object and change its color. And if I wanted to add uh, some more complexity to this, then I might just go ahead and, you know, add some detail to the shoe of some kind. Add a big shape at the bottom. Make that a ugly green color. Move it to the back. And in fact, actually, so I can see it right here in my layers palette. Um, instead of ungrouping this and regrouping it, I can just drag this object right into that clipping mask and there it is. So now I have my green sole on my blue shoe and I can select that green sole with the open arrow and uh, make changes to it to my heart's content. Now David, I hope uh, for your sake that your shoe looks a heck of a lot better than mine does. Good luck with that.